Welcome to Lakeshore RV. I'll be walking you through your Montana. On the front, you're going to have some docking lights. These are going to be amber LED lights. These are going to be controlled from inside the actual camper. On the very front compartment, you're going to have your generator. This generator is ran by LP. Um, you'll have to prime it if, when you run out of a tank. And then when you switch it over, prime it for five seconds and then push start for five seconds. Don't turn your uh, generator on with a full load so just have those off and you can start it then make sure you replace your lid after you start it go it over to the right you're gonna have your deep cell 12 volt battery inside this compartment here to the right of that you're gonna have a manual light switch on the driver's side you're gonna have a little cheat cheat for your uh, leveling system here um, the push power button turn on no LED means extend. What legs do you want to extend? You choose. Then it would be retract means the LED is glowing. So you're gonna lower your unit. What leg you're trying to lower? You're gonna extend, raise it. What leg? Um, auto level when your trucks pull out of the way and your when your trucks pull out of the way and you're just about to get ready for camping and you want to level your unit, have an auto level. All your jacks will work at and level itself out to the right you're gonna have two stickers here one's gonna one's gonna tell you the make model VIN. one's gonna tell your tell you your tire pressure you got two 30 pound LP tanks both full regulators on this side on the driver's side now you got one tank on each side of the camper passenger and driver's side this green green indicates the LP has uh, propane when it goes red, you'll have to turn that little knob on the top over to the left, and that's going to use the other the passenger side tank. It will go red when it is empty. Inside your pass through here, you got your 12 volt bat, or I mean, uh, inside your pass through, you got your 50 amp cord for your plug-in. It's a full access pass through. Here is your also your in inputs for your water as well as your cable. Okay, bring them up right through the hole here. So you can still shut this compartment door. And the very top, you got your exterior shower, hot and cold. Right below it, you're gonna have your water heater bypass valve. Winterize it for winterization, winterizing your system. Winterization is there. You have to have it in the on position to use that port. Have it in the off position to use the city connection. That's gonna allow you to either fill your unit or go to a normal flow by that valve when you when you want to use the water out of the fill tank you need to be in a normal full f fill flow position <laughs> can't talk today tank f tank flush here that's gonna be if you, uh, your black tank starts smelling give it a good rinse out um, as well as every time you dump you want to make sure your valves are closed and then you use that um, your valves are open and then you use your black tank flush if you you don't want to use it when it's closed because if you got a full black tank you're gonna overfill it into your into your bathroom right to the right you're gonna have your key TV hookup as well as your battery disconnect as well as your low point drains here right to the right of that you're gonna have your 50 amp cord hookup your water heater is gonna be right there as well as your your drain connection Coming on the very back of your unit here. Passenger side. Passenger side. You will also access the spare tire from underneath. We have two awnings on this unit. They're both controlled from the panel inside as well as the outdoor speakers. Right past the main door, your steps will be folded inside the actual camper when you are when you're closing up the camper. Right to the right, you're going to have your, your furnace exhaust. Be careful, make sure nothing's leaning up against it when you fire it up. It will catch it on fire. Right below here, you got your sewer hose, 30 to 50 amp adapter, 30 to 15 amp adapter here, as well as right 
in front of that compartment, you're going to have your other LP tank. Let's go ahead and take a walk inside your unit. Going inside your unit, first thing you're going to recognize is this black box. This black box are breakers and fuses on your unit. So you push it and the door will drop down. 12 volt fuses, 110 breakers. Right above the very top cabinet, you're gonna have your control panel. Your control panel has, right above it, it's gonna be your fan controls for your living room area. As well as here, you get, these are gonna be push buttons that are gonna show you your levels on your unit push and hold awnings these these are one's going to control the front one's going to control the rear heater get uh your gas as well as electric for your water heater your water pump right to the right of that you're going to have tank heater so if you decide to go anywhere that is uh going to drop below freezing go ahead and turn those on right below you're going to have light switches all these here are all lights Right below you're going to have your slide out controls. Now these slide out controls, this left one's going to control both of the kitchen ones on each side. One's going to come in and I'll bring the other one in, vice versa when you're pulling them out. To the right is going to be your main bedroom slide. So let's go ahead and we're going to start from your master bedroom and work our way back. Master bedroom, you come in, right to the right. Right when you walk in to the right here, you're gonna have your light switches as well as right above it, you're gonna have a thermostat. This thermostat, you're gonna see another one throughout your unit. You're gonna push it once to acknowledge it, push it twice to turn on the fan, fan low, fan high, cool high, cool low, cool auto, and then off. Now the other one will actually have the furnace into it. This one is just the AC for the master bedroom. Master bedroom inside your closet, closet here. Now these lights here, you're going to see a few of them that have a switch on the, on the side rim here. To the two is going to be a motion light. To the one, you're going to keep it all the ways on. Right below it, you're going to have a way to start your generator. Your generator is using your propane again. So just know if you use your propane in, on heat, that can affect your generator usage later. Uh, TV is all built in as well as... When you slide your closet over, you got another light in here. Going inside your little access area into the bathroom. On, on your bed, you got individual reading lights, a tap light on each side that has a little button in this dead center. You got charging stations on each side of the bed, USB and outlets. Inside the closet here, You'll be prepped and ready for a washer and dryer, as well as there's your chairs for your table. So this one, this side will actually have the washer side on it, porch for your washer. The left side will be your dryer. Going inside your your bathroom here, you're gonna have a full vanity set up with an individual light here. Right, right above the toilet, you're gonna have a light switch, also, also mat airflow fan which is above the doorway here this doorway goes out into the hallway going into your living area right to the right you're gonna see you're gonna have max airflow fan as well as your other thermostat that's gonna control the heat it be, it's electric and gas so right below it you're also gonna have two light switches. One's going to control the drop lights and one's going to control the lights above here. Now the lights underneath here are all the push button style. They got the button in the center. You have to just push it. Refrigerator is going to be gas, uh, propane or shore power so you can put, turn it on. The LED light will come on right when it sh shuts off. I'll show you there are three different modes. You got a short power only, you got a propane only, and, uh, and then you have an auto. So right now it is on short power only. You go, you push this button right next to the screen. It will go to the 
the little drop which is, is propane only push it again this will go over to the plug and the drop that's going to automatically choose the best source of power if you don't have short power it's going to go to propane now right right around your shank here you're going to have a gfi breaker right right on the island as well as the keys are around your shank best indicator if you have short power um will be your microwave if it's on and working you're you at least have 30 amps right below it you're going to have a, your stove top this stove top this could be like a at home stove top you're going to turn the knob over to the light section you're going to push and hold the igniter button here's going to be the light right here right to the left you're going to have another one of these charging stations throughout your unit to to hide away it it has two USBs as well as two outlets. You're going to push this little red knob in and then just push it down. To, to bring it up, you're just going to push on it and lift it all the way up and let it fall down. That little red locking knob is going to be controlling it. Nice size pantry here. To the left, you're going to have your, t your entertainment center, your TV, your radio, as well as your fireplace. Your bigger items like your TV, your fireplace, are, they're not going to work without short power, so just remember that. If you're at running a 30 amp, you're, uh, you're going to have to watch what... Uh, you can't run everything. So your fireplace, microwave, TV. If you're going to run your microwave, turn your fireplace off if you got your TV on with your heat on. It, there's just things that... Uh, with 30 amp that you'll have to watch your usage right to the left here is going to be your audio system this audio system has three zones a b c those are going to be your bedroom as well as your uh living room and outside you can control the volume off of each zone right below it you're going to have your fireplace fireplace controls are right to the top right as well as you have a remote <coughs> Right past this couch here, you're gonna have charging stations on each side, USB and outlets, as well as the turn on the lights above the couch here. This is gonna have two two switches right here, right to the left of the couch. On the final slide, on your dinette slide, this this side has a dimmer setting right above the your retracting uh, couch here. You got a dimmer on and off. Control the dim is the slider here. Each chair has a charging as well as massage and heat ports there, USB on each side. There's your other charging port for that I told you about how to lift up and uh, show it how to lock it into place. Here is your dining dinette table. Now the lights above it. The, the LED light above the actual fixture will turn on with the, with the switches. These ones are actual manual, so you'll have to push the button. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you for choosing Lakeshore. Have a great day.